Three. Let's get it all. Finally, we are underway. Ortiz. Oh, oh. Shamrock with a double on the hooks. Oh, Wizard. Ken Shamrock trying to have Oh, big right hand by Tito. Big knee. Tito with the knee. Tito rocks him. High knee. Ken Shamrock wants to bring it quickly. Tito wanted to weather that storm. It looks like he's the one. Big right hand. The bad weather. Trying big to right hand. Ken is Trying to finish him early. Now he's looking for the choke. Oh, he's got a keep. great shots already. He continues to tee up. Oh, a left by Shamrock. What? A left by Shamrock. And that will slow Tito down. Ken still looks rocked. Wow, the aggression there came out go, immediately. Oh, big right hand by Tito again. Here they go, toe to toe. Oh, nice left hook. Tito coming with that left. Ken trying to work inside. Tito is just pushing this fight. He's got that Muay Thai fight. Oh, he's going for the takedown. Shamrock. Now, we, we mentioned earlier, he got to hold the back of that head. He is, but Tito's still raining shots. Tito is a ground and pound expert. Ken Shamrock is just looking to hold him here and weather the storm. It doesn't seem like he's looking for an arm bar or anything. Well, he's got the right arm trapped here, but he's not going to go for it. He's worried if he goes for an arm bar, if he moves and he loses the position, Tito could get dominant on him in a mount or perhaps side control and really rain blows. Well, Ken trying to stay off that fence desperately. He spin the hips. Great move by Shamrock there. Ken was in the octagon practicing that earlier before the bout and warming up. He's prepared for this. Seven weeks in Big Bear. Virtual isolation. Ortiz preparing for this fight. Tito's in the half guard now. The cowboy that goes back to March of 99. Tito trying to finish it here in the first. Shamrock trying to punch from his back. Now, Tito might very well use this in the exchange. He might use that as an op opportunity to get out of the half guard and mount him. While he's punching and Ken's defending that, he's not paying attention to his legs. And that's when he's going to make a move. Wow, Tito stays so busy, doesn't he, Joe? Absolutely. He's the quintessential ground of him and Matt Hughes. Look at him work this solar plex area of Ken Shamrock. Ken desperately trying to close that half guard. Ken is the oh, big, big exchange big there. Ken is doing nothing but holding on. He's done nothing offensively since Tito took him to the ground. Ken should survive the first five minutes. And survive is the appropriate descriptive term. Round two, Ken still looks determined. And he takes the center of the ring. Tito trying to finish it quickly. Ken looks Ken looks so swinging wild now, though. Tito looks much more composed. Ken wants to keep it up here. Look for that big knockout. Tito just spun away from that right. Tito, whoa, oh, good they're shot. going toe to toe now. I love this. Oh, good combination, but blocked by Tito. 85% of our fans on UFC.tv oh, give takedown. round one to Tito. He gets the takedown quickly here in round two. And again, Ken goes into a completely defensive guard. Tito, elbow, big elbow. elbow. Big elbow on Ken Shamrock. Tito. Oh, oh nice elbow. elbow. You and another one that lands. Ken has desperation in his eyes. Survival mode here. And still, two and a half minutes remains in round two. Ken's spinning out. Tito's going to use that as an opportunity to pass the guard. There and he does. goes. And he does. Side position. Now he's trying to rain it down. McCarthy on top of the action. This very well could be it. This oh, nice knee to the body. Ken blocks that. Tito doesn't even look winded. Watch coming straight down, Ken. Watch coming straight down the elbow. Watch your elbow. At the press conference, we saw the conflict. Tito seems like an older brother talking down to me. Well, you know what? You don't talk down to me. I understand what I have to do to make this sport what it should be, and that is mainstream. And Tito is doing it here. Ken is offering no danger. No, when, when Ken oh, is on, the, on his back, on, Tito is in go. no danger. All Ken does is hang on. Get There's no there. worry about submissions whatsoever. And when you're in that situation, Ken is the one who's winded, Ken is the one who's using all the energy, and Tito is just pounding on him. This may very well be a case of old school versus new school. Now that's the question that was asked before. Has Ken 
transformed into the Renaissance fighter that represents the UFC modern day. These Big. gladiators who are so well-rounded and so skilled. And so far, the answer is no. Big knees to the body by Tito. And if Ken, Ken was tired before that, it's gonna make him more tired. Now we've seen this position before. Oh, he's hammering away. We've seen this position before with Matt Hughes versus Carlos Newton. And we also saw it with Salivary versus Seminoff. If Tito Ortiz can secure one of Ken's arms down and lock the other one, it'll be completely helpless. He's just gonna elbow him in the submission here. 40 seconds remains in round two. Oh, oh shit, it's Larry! What a move by Ken Shepard! He's spun free, and they're on their feet! Ken explodes, but Tito looks more dominant here. Ken's got to be winded, too, after Absolutely. fighting out. Good punches by Shamrock, though. He's still got some energy. Good body shots. Great move by Ken Shamrock. Ken Shamrock, if anything, has got the heart of a lion. Big left hand! Well, he's the leader of the den. He's throwing punches that aren't connecting. He's connecting with air. Round three, the greatest fight in UFC history. Will it live up to the billing? It the certainly was the most highly anticipated matchup ever. Shamrock said, I will get my dignity or I will die. He's getting his chance at it. The Muay Thai clinch with the knee. Tito is taking a page out of Chuck Liddell's book with that big left hand, big right hand. Ken is taking some punishment here on his feet. Ken slipped. That was oh, a slip. He's weary. He's yep. very weary. This could end suddenly. Tito trying to set it up for the big finish. Tito looks like he's looking for a knockout by punch. Almost 85% right again. Hand. 81% online scoring. Look for the right hand. UFC.tv. There's the left. Shamrock looking to answer. Tito looks so, so relaxed out there. He's in very, very good shape. Now it looks like it's just conservative and nice leg yep. kicks. Oh, set it up and another knee, and another knee. Oh, right hand. And a combination of that staggers Ken Shamrock. And the big oh, slam oh, by slam. Tito Ortiz. If that wasn't against the fence, the fence took a little bit of the force of that impact. If that was in the middle, that would have been a huge landing explosion. Tito's just completely dominant here. Ken able to bring it back to guard. No matter what you say about Ken Shamrock, you cannot question that man's heart. Many, many lesser men would have tapped out long ago. Big punches. Those forearms, he uses those forearms so effectively. They practice it over and over again, pressing your head up against that fence where you can't move it and just dropping elbows. This fight looks so much like Rico Rodriguez's victory over Randy Couture. Very the heavyweight simple. championship, of course, they train together. Except I think Ken is a little bit better at getting out of that position than Rico is. Rico's more of a pure wrestler. Ken is uh, a little bit more versed. In get oh, look at this. He might be going for a leg. Oh, he spins. Oh, bad. Bad move by Ken. In going and trying to improve his position, he gave Tito side control. Another explosion by Ken. He's back to his feet. And Not hard. Ken. Ken Shamrock's got the heart of a lion. I was there the first time Tito Ortiz ever stepped into the octagon as an alternate. Ensign Inoue hurt his eye in a, in a match with Royce Alger. Tito stepped in and dominated just basically as a wrestler. He's come full circle now into a complete martial artist. He's got that Muay Thai head clinch. Nice elbow. Tito Ortiz, Ken Shamrock. 20 seconds remains in the third. Tito closing the gap. Ken holding on. Ken still got some fire in him through a leg kick. Oh, that was a good right there. You hear his corner yelling out, 10 seconds, Tito. 10 seconds, guys, 10 seconds, 10 seconds. We are going to go to round four. Tito drops down for another takedown. Stop it right there. They're gonna wow. stop the fight. It is all over. Tito Ortiz remains the light heavyweight champion and becomes with this victory a legend of the octagon. Tito Ortiz has risen to the occasion in grand fashion. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, Ken Shamrock was unable to continue, and referee Big John McCarthy has called a stop to the contest. For the winner, and still...